Hi class, in this demo video, I'm going to be talking to you about creating maps using ggmap. And we'll be using data from a bike ride I went on in Mallorca. So to celebrate, I have my Mallorca cycling t-shirt on. Yay! Okay, the little things I get excited about now, right? Okay. So let's jump in. Um, in this demo file, you'll have all the libraries loaded or you'll have all the libraries there that you need. And this will download the cycling data of mine. So we're going to use ggmap to plot a bike ride I went on in Mallorca, Spain in 2018. First, let's take a quick look at the data. So those are up here. So these are originally from my Garmin. They were a GPX file and I've done uh, some work to make them a lot easier to read into R. So there's uh, lawn, which is longitude, lat, which is latitude, ELA, which is the elevation, the time, which is a date time variable, and the speed. Okay, next let's take a look at a map of Mallorca uh, to get an idea of where it is for those of you who don't know. So let me jump over here. Um, and this is a stamen map, which is the kind of map we'll be reading into R. Um, yeah, so there's Mallorca and if you kind of want a better idea of where it is. There's Spain, France, um, so hopefully that gives you uh, a bit of an idea. Let's zoom back into the level we were at. Okay. All right, so now let's actually get the map of Mallorca into R. So we're gonna use that get stamen map function so the first thing we need to do is fill in the values for this B box. So to do that, I go to OpenStreetMap. I know, I wish this was all in the same spot, but it's not. So here I'm at OpenStreetMap. I've already zoomed into the level I wanna be zoomed at, uh, in at on the map. And then if I click Export, that's what brings up this little box over here. So this value is going to be the left value, this is the right, this is the top, and this is the bottom. And I usually round these, so I'm just going to do this as 2.2. We can always change them after we uh, read in the map. The bottom will do 39.2. The right will do 3.6, let's call that 3.7. And the top will do 40. I'm gonna do the map type of terrain. If you wanna change that, um, there's different types of map types. And if you go over to the help over here and search for get stamen map, and I like to make this help window bigger, um, you can see that all sorts of different map types they offer. And actually on that stamen map page, you can see some examples of the different map types. We'll keep it with terrain for now. And then the other thing we need is the zoom. So if I go over, actually I'm gonna, well, we can do it right in here. So this number right here where it says uh, number map equals that number 10, that tells me how zoomed in it, it is. So I'm gonna start by using 10. And I just wanna point out that on the stamen map, we also see that zoom level right there, it's 10. So I'll leave that at 10 and let's run the code. This takes just a second to pull in everything. And then let's plot the map to make sure it looks like what we expect. So. I'll take my ggmap function and put in that Mallorca map. Okay, and that looks pretty much exactly what I was expecting. Okay, now what we wanna do is we wanna take this map and we wanna put my ride on top of it. So 
Let's start just by plotting the points on top of it. So I'm going to take these longitude and latitude points and just plot a whole bunch of points on that map. Now, uh, my Garmin seems to capture my time every, I don't know, somewhere between three and 10 seconds. Okay, so um, in the GG map, we want the Mallorca bike, or I'm sorry, we want the Mallorca map. Inside of GM point, the data we want is Mallorca bike day seven. So that's the cycling data. Um, on my X axis, I want lawn. And if you're like me, you might mix up longitude and latitude sometimes. It's okay, I'll forgive you. Um, and then I'm gonna also make these data points a little bit smaller, just cause I've seen this before. I know that I'm gonna want them smaller and I'm gonna use the theme map because I think it makes it look nice. So let's run that code. And there's my map. So I can, um, right, I can sort of uh, see where I went on my ride. Um, I could probably uh, do some more things to make that this better. And that's what we're gonna do next. So one thing I would like to do is I'd like to zoom in a little bit more on this map. So that means I'm gonna change the BB box argument in the get statement map function. Um, I wanna make the ride a line rather than a point. And I'm gonna use the geom path function to do that. The geom path function connects the points in the order that they are rather than using what's on the x-axis to connect the points together. Um, I will also color the line by elevation and I'm gonna change the color scale just to show you how to do that. And then um, in the legend, um, I'm gonna eliminate the background color because one problem with these map legends is they sometimes sit on top of our map and, and then that background color is annoying. So we'll fix that. Okay, so let's see here. First thing we wanna do is change the map. So let's go back to the OpenStreets map and I'm just gonna kind of adjust this a little bit and I'm gonna zoom in, let's see here. So I think where I was was a little bit more in this area. So that'll give me a bit more detail so notice it's now zoomed in to 11. So I'm gonna remember that part as well. And then um, let's change the values of the B box. So on the left, it'll be two point, we'll leave it as 2.28. On the bottom, it'll be 39.41. Oops, let's put a, there we go. On the right, it will be 3.03. .03. And on the top, it'll be 39.8. Okay, now one thing I like to do when I make a change like this is I like to just read in the map first. So I'm gonna highlight my code starting on line 75 through line 80, but I'm not gonna include that plus sign. And then I have a Mac, I'm gonna uh, push command return. On a Windows, you would push control enter. And that just runs that highlighted piece of code. So that's like a nice trick. Okay, so now I can look at my map, make, make sure it looks like what I was expecting. Great. And now on top of that map, I want to put this geom path. Right? So again, this is gonna connect the data points in the order they're in rather than using the X axis to connect them. So the data I am putting in here is called Mallorca bike day seven. On the X axis, we again have longitude. On the Y axis, we have latitude. And I'm gonna color that by elevation. Um, I'm gonna leave that size 0.5. And I'm gonna color this, actually here, let's do this real quick. Let's run the code through here, just so we can see what this looks like. So the default color scheme sort of has these bluish tones to them. 
which is fine. We could leave it like that. I just want to show you a different example. So I'm going to use the Veritas color scale and I'm going to use the one called Magma. If you go to the help for scale color Veritas, um, search for that in the help, you can see all the different options for color uh, combinations to use. We'll then use the theme map. And again, let me highlight the code through uh, line 85 without including the plus sign. I'll press command return just to run that. And I just want to show you the sort of issue I'm seeing with the legend. So see how the legend, uh, that sort of white space overlaps my map. Um, I'm just going to not give it a background color and then we'll be able to see the map through that. So um, legend background equals element blank. That means don't use a background in the legend. And now if I run that code, we'll get um, almost exactly the same picture, except um, it won't cover up our map anymore, which is nice. Um, I could probably work on this even more and make it even better, but I think for this video, that is good enough. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. That's all I have for you for now. Bye-bye.